Hey, what's up? In this video, I'm gonna cover how to use the new earrings with the physics, uh, specifically with metahumans. And the first step here is that you need to go to plugins and make sure that you have something called physics control uh, enabled and you'll have to restart. So I'm pretty sure this requires Unreal Engine 5.6 to have this newest version. That's how I've built these uh, earrings assets. So anyway, Unreal Engine 5.6, turn on the physics control plugin before you import anything. And then uh, I'll show you how to get this set up uh, with MetaHumans. Okay, so here we are in a MetaHuman blueprint. Uh, this outfit's available on Fab if you're interested in uh, fits that work with a uh, high heels rig. But today we're going to be focusing on earrings, which you can see she does not have any earrings. And let's go over how you add those. So we're going to click on the face and then we're going to add another skeletal mesh. We're going to name this uh, earring underscore L. You can name it whatever you want. And under the skeletal mesh uh, asset field here, we're going to want to write earring, which this is how my earrings are named. We have A, B, C, D, and E. I'm going to use C. Uh, try to click on this one and uh, right now it's like at the bottom of the world, right? It's still attached to her head, right? But it's it's down there at the origin um, But what we want to do is go to parent socket and we want to write ear underscore oops We want to do ear uh, L uh, Sorry facial L ear like that it attaches it to uh, the ear with sort of an odd offset to be honest uh, uh, we're over here. Oh, I see. That makes sense. Okay, so this is attaching it to the ear, and you can see that the physics are already kind of doing what they do. But so what we're going to want to do is then rotate this down. Oops, I'm going to undo that. Uh, switch to snapping. Is that this? UI so small. Uh, we're going to snap this and rotate it. Why is this hard? Uh, 90 down like this. And then we're going to position the earring uh, until it like, you know, makes sense. And each one of these earrings has sort of a different offset and kind of different rotation that makes sense for it, especially with physics. But luckily in the editor even, you can see that the uh, the physics is, is sort of working, kind of. It's not like fully simulating, but it is uh, partially simulating. So you want to just try to line up that manually. Um, if there was a way for, for me to art direct this for people, like in a video game, I certainly would, because it does take a little bit of work to get the right position and me as the designer, you know, I designed these earrings to be positioned a certain way, but there's no real way of automating this sort of process right now, not with um, the outfit system or anything like that. So it takes a little bit of work, but this is what the process looks like. And, you know, means you can kind of customize it too. Like, especially if your metahumans or your models have drastically different sized ears or something like that, like different sized earlobes, you are going to want to like spend some time and make sure that they're, they're placed properly. So that's placing one uh, there, and that's basically all we do. So we'll do the same thing over here. We could duplicate this. I suppose that's maybe slightly easier. We'll say earring underscore R, and we're going to switch the parent socket to ear, facial R ear here. And it's not too bad. Uh, the rotation's good. Uh, we'll just want to kind of like bring this out, and th this is an earring that has like a stud like right in the pearl, but you like don't really... You don't really see it. So we'll try to get this position better. And you know, um, one thing I want to point out is that the physics of the earring don't collide with the head of the hair. They don't know anything about the the thing they're attached to, not yet anyway. Um, so they only collide with itself. So some of the earrings you'll see like automatically are clipping through the chin or something like that, mostly the hoop earrings. So you just want to spin them around and position them so that they're not, you know, out of the gate clipping with the head. That's not uh that would be bad. Okay, so there we are. That's all we do. And we're going to compile slowly and save. And I'll head back to my sequence. And you'll see that even in sequencer, as we're like scrubbing through her, I mean, her hair physics is going nuts, but uh, so are the earrings. So I actually have a time dilation on this animation to make it go half speed, just so that the physics is playing back at the right speed. But then the whole thing is in slow motion, so you can actually see it. So we'll play that back. So here is the uh, final animation with the earrings installed. That's pretty easy. Skeletal meshes, just attach them to the ear bones of the metahuman head. And then even if you're doing animation on the ears, they will actually still um, respond to that and be attached in the right place, which is pretty cool. I think that probably most people don't actually 
um, end up animating the... Oh, yeah, what? Wait. Oh, oh we're, lag we're locked here. I think most people probably don't end up animating the ears all that much. But in case you do, um, let's see here. Let's go to um, animation mode. And there's our ear control. You'll see that even if I start animating the ears, or I don't think any of my mocap metahuman animated stuff trigger this. Maybe it does. I don't know. But in either case, this is like the most technically accurate way of rigging them so that in case the, the ears are actually being animated, they are still rigged to it. So that wraps it up on this video on how to use the uh, earrings with physics on a metahuman. And let me know if you have any questions or any specific design requests for making um, for earrings for metahumans. I have a bunch that I'm going to make because I think they're just really cool free secondary physics that you could add onto any metahuman. I think it makes like makes it better in like almost every way. Uh, but let me know in the comments if you have any uh, specific requests and uh, join the Discord if you need support or have ideas and comments, et cetera, on metahuman tech in general. I'll see you on the next video. Peace.